A good relationship is about what you do or don't do. What things do you do that turn your partner off? Our local celebrities tell us what they cannot tolerate in their relationships. Take a look. A dirty person, man. I hate dirty. I don't like dirty. Laziness. But the form said daddy lazy. Eh? I can't. I can't be with you. Oh mukodo. Oh my god. If you don't support my dreams, obviously I can't tolerate that. Actually, the sun answered your mouth. Nango went from the winter gazer. In minds? Generally, I don't like a man that doesn't wear very nice fragrance. Oh, Muntu, I know Kambala, according to the place of our Mugenzi, Muntu, too many antis in Nango, yes, this over Kambala one. Name Mugenzi, a cooperative part of man, I could be a part of I don't tolerate it. I'm a very tolerant person. I just take everything up with Chili. See, it's making up into so big to me. No. You cannot stand someone saying, I don't feel you anymore, and you say, please, no, you're making a mistake. You don't, you don't need to plead. I don't need to plead. That's too bad, but I'm very tolerant person, because I know people make mistakes. If the love doesn't balance, I want a lady that loves me more than I love her. Though I still love her more than she loves me. Someone who also doesn't understand the lifestyle. You know, you might be in a music video and have to hold a woman or even kiss a woman. You know, it's part of the industry. It's part of the story. They're like, oh man, you can't be in that video holding that person. So, someone who really understands the industry that you're in um, really helps. I don't, I don't want to see my girl like going to her parents all the time. Because when a girl goes to, to, her, to her parents, she comes back when she has changed. She takes her, she sometimes when she has to have many babes, she comes back. You st Starting fights for nothing. I always need someone who's ready to give me the benefit of the doubt before they flip out. You know, I, mean, I don't need things being broken in my house before we've actually talked. I can't tolerate lies. Yeah, lies. I don't like lies. I, I, I hate lies. I totally hate lies. I like someone who is open to me. Talk about the same. Watch it. Take him silent. Oxinga when I go man, what do you mean? Watch it. Ngamba ni anya kwa da kumira. Cheats. I can't tolerate that. Oh, Wednesday. Oh my God, it's very bad. I must be trusted. When they start going through the phones, nah. Dishonesty, lack of respect. I don't tolerate disrespect. No one ever thinks about a disrespect. And too much love. If love becomes too much, it becomes nothing. Turning to university events, it was a night of fashion food and fun at the International University of East Africa Fashion Awards. <music> Students from different universities and tertiary institutions displayed a glamorous fashion parade showcasing designs in different categories that included beach wear, evening wear, creative wear, office, traditional, hijab wear, among others. Participating universities and institutions included Kampala International University, Mutasa Royal, Cavendish University, YMCA, Makerere, Chambogo Universities, among others. Jovan went behind the scenes and met the students who talked about their designs and inspiration about their collections. Now, let me start with this lady here. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, what's your name? I'm Mariam Nakaima. Mariam, when did you start venturing into modeling and fashion? Like ever since I had this passion, ever since I was young. So at least I'm, I'm trying to make my dream come true. Okay. Yeah. Do you think tonight you're going to make your dream come true? Obviously. Okay, obviously, and uh, first come here. We're seeing mats. Oh, yes. Why? 
out of culture, you know, you know how it is. We have to be cultural. It has to come up well. Yeah. Where do you see the fashion industry in the next five years? Do you think it will work? Oh yes, massive, very massive. So much potential. All these ladies have a lot of potential. There's great stuff coming up. Yeah. Okay, great stuff coming up. Only one person, and uh, it's the lady there who is working on you. Madam, please come, 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 come. Ages want to see you. Hi. Hi. What do you do? Do you dress these people or? Yeah, I'm a fashion designer. You're a fashion designer. Yeah. Why? Why did you choose to be a fashion designer? I was born to be a fashion designer. I love it, and I know it. Well, you've heard it all from Chambogo University. Let's hope at the end of tonight there will be somewhere either winners or winners. Right now, I'm with people in YMCA. YMCA is the Young Men Christian Association. It's also here at the award ceremony. Hi, gentlemen. How are you? Hi, good. What's your name? Matov Brian Mukasa. Matov Brian Mukasa. What inspired you guys to join uh, fashion? I actually want to show the world out there that we YMCA students, we can make it better than what you think. You know, as if, you move on, if you move on the streets, they, these guys think YMCA is good at other things, but we want to show them that even in fashion, we're the best. The guest of honor, OH Tibo and Nachiwala Chiyinji, urged students to take opportunities given to them to showcase and advance their talents and abilities. Kampala University emerged the overall winners of the Inter-University Fashion Awards. Other winners included Buganda Royal University who took the award for Best Beach Wear and the Best Culture Wear. The International University of East Africa took the Hijab Wear Award. And with me are students from Buganda Royal Institute. Well, they came out victors of the cultural wear and the the beach wear. I'm going to find out. How was it? How was the feeling? Ladies first, you know, that's how the thing goes. Uh, it was really very, very nice. I had fun with my beach wear when I was putting it on and my culture wear as a Muganda. I wore Gomesi. Yeah, that's all. I had fun. It was okay. Uh, was it tense? Tell us, how was it on stage? How were you feeling? Oh my goodness. I was feeling nervous, but <laughs> I had to gain the confidence when I had the people scream at me. I had to gain the confidence. Jovan also talked to Campus Age presenter Doreen. Next to me is a beauty queen. She's uh, they don't say former, they say Miss University. Yeah, okay, tell us more about yourself. What's your name? Um, Doreen Rantale and right now I'm Miss Congeniality Kampala Royale. Miss Congeniality Kampala Royale. <laughs> okay, moving away from that, how was, how was tonight? Um, I, I think it was perfect. Everyone tried to do their best, the way they were walking, the outfits, the way they showcased their clothes. It was really passionate. I think I loved it so much. It was full of drama a bit, which was fine. Okay, now you being coming from IUEA, because I heard you come from IUEA. How do you feel that you are at first number one and now you're number two? Um, of course, it is very disappointing. The fact that they mention the, you know, the things that cut our points. Yeah, and being a beauty queen and a model at the same time, I know what happens, how things are done. And the moment I saw those guys being carried, I knew that was a downer. But, you know, we learn from our mistakes. Maybe next inter-university fashion awards, I believe they won't do that. They'll know all the way we have to walk or, you know, come up with choreography that won't involve carrying each other and that is full of discipline. So I think it is disappointing, but equally a good thing for us to learn from. And a good thing for KIU to beat you, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that because... Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> well, you've heard it all from a beauty queen and uh, Miss Congeniality Kampala Real. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a very great evening right here at IUEA. It has been the Inter-University Fashion Awards. And we've seen KIU come out as a victor, followed by IUEA. And let me take this opportunity to congratulate Kampala International University upon winning these awards. So, ages, it's time for us to go as Campus Age, Jovanone MIC. I'm saying bye. Still talking fashion, you've probably heard of the term streetwear, but what is streetwear? Streetwear is a distinctive style of fashion 
rooted in a surfing and skating culture. It has grown to encompass elements of hip-hop fashion. Streetwear is usually black and white, casual, comfortable pieces such as hoodies, t-shirts, baseball caps, beanies, sweatpants and sneakers. It also features bold colors, graphic prints and retro designs and logos. Celebrities that rock this trend include our very own Navio. If you like streetwear, you can pick it up on the street standing at 30,000 for a shirt. You're probably wondering what you're winning today. Are you wondering? We're giving away nothing today. That's right, nothing. This episode was about love. Let's see if you like Compass Age unconditionally. You can, however, win free airtime that we post on our social media pages before and after every show. So go to our social media pages after the show and get your free airtime. While you're there, like us, follow us, tweet about us. We love your attention. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on Compass Age where we'll live life in the grand manner.